Hello, 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 ladies. I am back. I, fi I finished my hair. And so um, I'm doing a product review. And so before I do the product review, I just want to show you the finished results of my hair. So this is it. I got eight cornrows going across. And what I did, my bun is kind of sorry, you know, with my natural hair with no hair added. I just stuck a bobby pin in it to pin it down opposed to it standing up in the air. And this is the back. So hopefully y'all was able to see that because I don't have eyes behind my head. And I can't, hopefully it was in the camera. So the products that I use to refresh my hair, um, I'm really liking these products together. Um, my hair is soft, it's moisturized. Um, I re-moisturized and styled my hair after five days. The last time I did my hair was last Friday. And basically, um, I rehydrated and refreshed my hair using the Alicane Naturals Lemongrass Leave-In. We all know about this. So, I'm not going to get into it about that. Y'all done saw a hundred videos. As I said before, I cannot use that as a regular leave-in, only as a refresher slash rehydrator opposed to using water. So my, um, let me kind of wipe it off because it's oily. The review I'm going to do is on the Caravada um, six time green tea nettle tea uh, oil and the Cara, uh, Caravada keratin Ayurvedic conditioning butter and this is this is it so we're going to start off with the oil first i did use this oil on friday when i washed my hair uh, what i used how i used it was i oiled my scalp with it you know normally i was using either my jamaican black castor oil or the um the other oil that I have, the Ancient Secrets oil. Um, so with this oil, it says super hydrating, moisturizing, deep conditioning for dry hair, for damaged hair, herbal oil treatment. It's, this is a four ounce, it's petroleum free, mineral oil free, paraben free. It has a light scent, all natural, no mineral oil, no parabens, no petroleums, and concentrate, it says on it. The ingredients is coconut oil, grapeseed oil, six-time concentrated green tea, nettle tea mix. And the way you can use it, she do give you a few ideas. Pre-poo, she said apply the oil, thoroughly coat hair, leave in for 30 to 60 minutes, shampoo as usual. You could use it as a hot oil treatment to mas you massage the heated oil into your hair and scalp cover with a plastic cap and sit under a steamer or dryer for 45 minutes. And you can use it as an add-in um, and you add in one ounce to your favorite leave-in conditioner. I did none of these. I just use this for my scalp, but I also use this on my hair as a hair oil. Um, when I did my roller set, what I actually, after I did my roller set, I didn't put anything in my hair because I didn't need to put anything in my hair. Um, but the next day, just to put something on my hair, I did use a little bit of this and I will show you what it looks like and how much I would use. So basically, this is what it looks like. That's about how much I would use, maybe about a dime size amount. Um, I really like this oil. It soaks into my hair strands and my scalp very well. It does not sit on top of my hair. And I did put this on my scalp today, tonight, as I, um, restyled my hair. And as you can see, my scalp, you can see it's kind of oily, but it doesn't look greasy. I don't know. It's the light and it's not that good, but, um... 
it really soaked into my scalp very well. Another thing I will say is too, and I wanted to say it has also not to be jumping. Sometimes I get scatterbrained, so I'm sorry. I'm jumping all over the place, but I want to say this before I forget it. Um, you don't have to get a bottle like this to pour it in because it has this spout tip on it. So this is another plus and um, it does come out very well and I guess you can open it to let it come out as much as you want. So it already has a spout on it. You can adjust it how you want to for the flow so you don't have to go out and buy, you know, um, an applicator bottle and, and be sitting there trying to figure out how to get it on your hand. Now I forgot what I was going to say before. <laughs> oh. What was I going to say? Oh, back to my scalp. Yeah, I'm very forgetful. Um, I have very little flakes. When I say very little, and it's been five days. Normally, if I get, when I start to get flakes, it's probably about the two to three day period when my flakes start to come back and the itchiness start to come back. I've just had normal itching. I explained to y'all last week, I have very little itching, normal itching. Um, I did have flakes, but my scalp was not irritated. I had normal itching, you know, a little itch here or there, but that's why I was able to leave my twist in for so long because my scalp just wasn't aggravated. It wasn't itching and the flakes was not that bad. Um, they were there, but they weren't like scaly. You know, normally when it was really, really flared up, um, it was just like in some areas, pieces of skin, like you can just go like this and take it off with the comb. Um, when, before I washed my hair, it was just like small little flakes, like, you know, regular flaking or whatever, but I did have flakes. I will say this time, almost like it was before my hair flared back up, almost none, no flakes, normal itchy, itching here or there. My scalp is not irritated um, or any like thing like that, and it's been five days. Um, I did see very, very, very minute amount of flaking like right here and along my part where I parted my hair, just very, very minor. She did say that these oils and butters, I didn't use this butter on my hair, but she, do, she did say that her oils and butters are good for a dandruff. Um, I've only used this on my scalp once. As I said last week, I did have flaking, but my scalp was not inflamed or itchy. Normally, I mean, like I said, by day three, I got flakes. Um, the flakes was there, but I wasn't tempted to scratch it because... <laughs> My scalp was not itchy, so my hair was able to last longer, uh, two weeks to be exact, before I started. And even when I did scratch my scalp, it still wasn't itchy. And normally, too, when I would scratch my scalp, that's when it would really get inflamed. And it's just like, okay, either leave it alone or go and wash it. You know, so um, even when I kind of scratched at my scalp, I did it twice. You know, um, more so towards the end of the week and then the day that I washed it, which was, the, uh, when did I wash my hair? Friday. Um, my scalp still was not itchy. You know, after I scratched it, it was still calm. And when I scratched it again on Friday, I was like, I'm going to wash my hair on Thursday. It actually was Thursday. I scratched up my scalp and I was just like, I was going to wait until Friday morning to pre poo and wash but since I had scratched up my scalp and I had all the flakes, I just went on ahead and pre pooed um, and I pre pooed with the red palm oil. Um, so, so far, this oil, I'm loving it because of the simple fact that 
Y'all know I've been very desperate to find something that would relieve me of my dandruff problems to calm my scalp down and to get help me get rid of that dandruff. And I used it just as you saw me using it in my refresher video. I don't know which one is going to upload first. But I just took it because this already has an applicator like spout on it and just did this or just in the front. I just did this, squeeze some out and rubbed it in to the parts. And in the back, I just did one of these, which I do with my applicator bottles and massaged it in. And hopefully it got everywhere. Um, yeah, so. And this smells good. They actually add scents. So even though this may sound very herbally or whatever, she has fragrances that she adds. And I don't know which one this is because I just told her I liked sweet scents and warm scents. And so she said, I'll send you such and such. I can't remember. Let me see if this is the, yeah, this is the receipt that she sent with it. No, this is not the receipt that she sent with it. Um, this is the receipt that she sent with it. She sent me cotton candy and warm winter pie. I want to see which one this is. I would say this is warm winter pie. So, cause it smells like it just doesn't smell like, so the other oil I have probably is the cotton candy. So this is the six time green tea, nettle tea. And this is the warm winter pie. You would never think that this was any green tea, nettle tea. You would think it would have like a minty smell to it or herbly smell, but mm -mm. It, it does not. It smells really good. So I'm really liking this. Would I purchase this again so far? Yes, yes, and yes. Because my hair really likes it. It soaks, it soaks into my strands and my scalp really well. It doesn't leave my hair greasy an oily feeling, which that's something that I look for in my butters, in certain butters and um, in my oils that it penetrates my hair. I don't like oils and butters that just sit on top of my hair. Even though I know oils and butters is supposed to seal the hair, I just do not like that feeling that is just sitting on my hair. And every time I touch my hair, I'm got a handful of oil and is greasy and stuff. I don't like that feeling. Um, I do have used heavy products on my hair, but I want the feel, I want the, the benefit of the heavy product to really moisturize, but the feel of a light product as well in that heavy product. <clears throat> so, um, I'm really liking this oil and it seems like it's really helping me with my dandruff as she said it would and she I want to also mention as well she did send these to me she contacted me on um one of my videos I, I'm not sure which video it was but maybe it was I don't know I'm not going to say because I don't remember but she contacted me she responded on one of my videos asked me to email her and I did uh, they sent this out very, very quickly. There is one of my YouTubers who said that they also ordered from Caravada on Black Friday. They have an Etsy store. Um, I'm just trying to see. So I guess you just go to Etsy and put in the search Caravada. And that's K-E-R-A-V-A-D-A. -A -A. And this is the name. Really like this product. Now on to the next before this be a 30 minute video. This is the Ayurvedic conditioning butter. And basically this says to apply to damp hair to seal in moisture or for hair twisting. I would say um, this is a four ounce. Yes, this is a four ounce. Um, jar. I don't know what their prices are because she did send me this for free. So, um, 
Yeah, it says to apply the hair, damp hair to seal in moisture or for hair twisting. And then it says as a conditioner. So you can also use this as a conditioner. Uh, deep condition under dryer. Deep condition under dryer with cap for 30 minutes. So you can also use this as a deep conditioner. And the ingredients are, it says as, I mean, yeah, I do the ingredients. The ingredients are mango butter, shea butter, cocoa butter, and y'all know I love cocoa butter. Amla, Brahmi, Bringra, Fenugreek, Tulsi, Neem, Sweet Almond Oil, Grapeseed Oil, Olive Oil, Nettle Tea, Green Tea, Argan Oil, Apple Cider Vinegar, Castor Oil, Lanolin, Vegetable Glycerin, Wind Mix, I don't know what that is. I guess it's a mix that she put together. Patchouli, rice bran oil, marshmallow extract, honey, clove, lemongrass, lemon oil, neroli, bergamot, rosemary, jojoba, shikaki, shikakai, help me out here, fire opal 94, <laughs> neem, and aretha. And this is very small, so and y'all know um y'all probably won't be able to read this too much because I can't really focus. But those are the ingredients, this in case, and it says instructions as a conditioner, add to hair strand by strand and and to scalp. Sit under dryer. You ain't gonna add this hair by strand by strand, section by section. Sit under dryer with cap for 30 minutes to deep condition. Use for twists and curly styles. Use will help make hair less prone to tangles and more manageable. This is, is what it look like. looks like. It's starting to get warm here. It's already um, in the low 70s. So as you can see, it's warm in my room and I'm in my bathroom. But it is warm, but you can start to see like... I can see it anyway, and the oils, you see that, the oil right there, it looks like it's melting. But this this butter is very light. I really like this butter. Um, I will put this, it's not as heavy, but I will put this in this category with my Texture Me Natural Heal and Hair Butter. Um, this is what it looks like. It emulsifies very well, as you can see, it's melting on my fingers. It's very light. It's not a heavy butter. I really like this. This is what I basically sealed my hair with. It doesn't give you a greasy feeling or anything like that. My hair is so soft. Um, it emulsifies. That's what I wanted to say. It emulsifies very well. It soaks into my hair as well, just like the, the oil very well. So, um, I will buy this from her again hopefully she sells it in a bigger jar you don't need a lot I am heavy-handed so I did put um, one second I'm sorry my son came in here asking for dinner we don't eat until 730 and it's only 640 but anywho um Yes, um, I will purchase this again. I really, really like this butter. As I said, in my butters and in my oils, I like butters and oils that soak into my scalp, my strand, my hair. Um, I do not like anything that just sits on top of my hair, but also that helps to moisturize. I like moisturizing butters, and that's why I love the Texture Me Natural Heal and Hair Butter because it's a moisturizing butter. It helps to moisturize my hair as well as seal. And this is the same thing except for I believe this is probably um, a little lighter um, feeling than the Heal and Hair Butter. The Heal and Hair Butter is heavier than this. So um, this can be a good butter to use all year round, but especially in the summertime where your hair may not be as dry, well maybe here because it gets to normal temperatures over 100, 110 degrees. So if I wear my hair out, um, my hair you know, will dry out really fast. But uh, if you're looking for a light butter and 
you don't want to use oils, I would recommend this. I really like this. Now this, I don't know if this comes in fragrances, but this does have an herbly type of smell. It's not bad though. Not the best, but it does have an herbly type of smell. So um, yeah, you're not going to get the cotton candy. She didn't send this in a fragrance. So I don't know if she does sell the, the butters in the fragrance or if it's just the smell. Um, but I like it. I would use it. It doesn't have to be fragranced. Um, as I said, my hair is, is very soft. It's moisturized. Can't y'all feel, can't y'all feel that softness through the camera? Look at that. Very soft, very soft. I'm loving it. I'm loving this oil and butter. I will purchase from her again. Y'all know I love oils. I love butters for my body and for my hair. But um, y'all know this hair act up, cut up, all type of fools away um, with certain products. And um, I'm really liking this butter. So check them out. You know, I, I don't know if it's a team or if it's just one young lady, but again, they are on they are on Etsy, and it's Caravada. Caravada, put in your search box, Caravada, and I don't think they're very expensive either. I think she, her prices are reasonable, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on this, but I believe her oils and butters are like ten dollars, ten to fifteen dollars or less. Let's just put it like that to be on the safe side. I believe they're like $15 or less. And she do, I believe, have different sizes. But because she sent me this for free to test out for her, you know, she sent me, and it's not a problem, the smallest one and four ounces of oil will last you, you know, a while. I don't think I'm, a, if I'm just using it on my scalp. And sometimes if I do my straight hairdos, you know, like a blowout or a um, a roller set, I guess. You know, just to add something to my hair. You know, like an oil. This is what I added to my hair. And again, my hair was not greasy. It was not oily. Um, it was just right. Even in my dry hair, it worked well. On damp hair, it worked well. Um... And I'm pretty sure on wet hair, even on damp hair as well, worked well. My hair is very soft. And I'm pretty sure on straight styles, you know, if you're refreshing your hair or redoing your hair from a different style and you just want to put an oil or butter, I don't believe you can go wrong with either one. You know, whichever you want to use, if you want to use the butter or if you want to use the oil, I don't think you can go wrong with either one. And I like them. And again, she shipped it very fast. This is my first experience with them. So I really don't have any prior. Um, as I said, there was one YouTuber when I first showed y'all that I got this that left a comment. If you want to go back to the video that says she ordered from Black Friday and she loved the product too. Uh, and I, she probably got it pretty quickly as well. I don't know. I'm not sure. They're out of Texas. Houston, Texas. That's where they're out of. So if you live in that area or in the Midwest, West, you should get your stuff pretty quickly. Should not take that long. As I said, I got it fairly quickly. Um, she shipped it out actually the same day that I contacted her. And she asked me to send me, email her my address. I did. She sent it out that day, actually. So give them a try. You know, if you an oil person or if you a butter person or if you're looking for oils and butters, I like it. They have very interesting combinations. They're they're they are um in a, a Ayurvedic herb company. <laughs> this is that's what they base their you know company on is using different herbs and a year of Vedic a year of Vedic herbs 
Um, yeah. So they have very interesting combinations. I do want to try some of the other combinations. I do. I'm sorry. I keep reaching for the receipt, but I do have the six time organic Rangari um, hair oil. I'm hoping that's how you say it. Yeah, I don't know. When I review that oil, then I come and tell you it's in my closet, so I'm not going to go get it. But this video is 25 minutes long. I'm so sorry for the long video, but I wanted to come and, you know, do a review on two products. So maybe if I did it one by one, it would have been shorter. But this is all of my shed hair, five days. I detangled my whole head. Not bad. Was not happy on wash day with all of the shed hair that I had, but... Considering the circumstances, it was what it was. I don't look like I'm missing any hair or anything. But again, this is my hair. I love it. So I'm going to end this video with thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing to my new, my old. Um, please give me a thumbs up. Leave your comments in the box below. Go check out Caravada on Etsy. Nice, nice, nice. Um, and that is it. Peace.